Hey everybody, John Nelson with Haas Automation here today to tell you about a new series of videos we're working on that focus on M codes and how you can shorten your cycle times. We'll be giving you details about what they do and how they may be slowing down your programs and what you can do to speed up cycle time on your Haas mills. First up is M1, the optional stop command. It works in conjunction with optional stop mode. The operator can toggle optional stop mode on and off with the option stop key from the keyboard. If optional stop mode is on, the program will stop when it reads the M1 code. When optional stop mode is off, the program ignores the M1 command and keeps running. So here's how M1 may be slowing down your programs. The Haas control is always looking ahead and getting ready for commands that are coming. A great example of this is the tool changer carousel on our side mount tool changers. The program looks ahead and sees the next tool in the program. While the program is running, it rotates the tool carousel to into position for the next tool change. When the control sees an M1 command, it stops looking ahead because it's waiting for the last possible instant to see if optional stop mode is on. This gives the operator a chance to press the option stop key to stop the machine right up until the program reached the M1 command. The problem is that many post processors place an M1 command at the end of each tool operation right before the next tool change. This slows program execution because the control never sees the next tool and does not pre-position the tool carousel. When the tool change comes, you have to wait for the carousel to get your next tool. I have a short sample program with two tool changes. First, I'm gonna run this program with M1 codes in place, straight out of the cam system. The cycle time is 56 seconds. Now, I'm going to remove the two M1 codes and we'll see that sped up the program by four seconds. I saved that four seconds because the control pre-positioned the tool carousel for each change. Imagine a complex program with a dozen or more tool changes and you could be saving a ton of time. There are three different options that will eliminate this tool changer delay caused by look ahead stopping at M1 codes. The first option is to do what I did and just delete all the M1 codes. The second option is to move the M1 codes just after the tool change command. This will allow the look ahead to pre-position the carousel but still give you the ability to use the optional stop mode. The third option may already be a selection in your post processor, and that is to pre-call the next tool. After a tool change and length offset call, you can insert the T code with the next tool number and don't program the M6. This will pre-position the carousel for the next tool change, but not actually change the tool. One last note. Setting 42 is named M00 after tool change. If you've deleted all your M1 codes, but you want the machine to stop automatically after each operation while you're setting up a job or for some other reason, turn setting 42 to on and the program will stop after each tool change. Simply press cycle start to continue program operation with the next tool. Pay attention to how you or your post processor format M codes for optional stops and start reducing cycle times today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.